Okay, now I tend to start, this is my personal preference, I tend to start with the 42 first, the, high, the lowest string, or the highest string depending on the way you look at it, but I, I tend to talk in pitch. So we're talking about the thickest string which is the lowest. So, first thing you're doing, you'll see, um, you don't need the packaging, take it out of the packaging and it'll all be tied together see like that and you just basically pull it out so there's one string. Now as you can notice there's a ball end on one end and on the other end there's a normal end. The ball end is the one that by forever what you say do not cut this off unless you're doing a Floyd Rose which is a completely different tutorial and I'll go through that in another video. But straightforward this is the end that will go under the bridge on this guitar. So let's pick up the guitar and we flip it round. So as you can see you've got you've got the guitar so they're going E A D G B E. So you want to go in the, the, the bottom one as you can see down the hole. Put put the, the end Turn the guitar around, pull it through till it stops. You hear that slight plunk. You know it is because it will not, it won't go any farther. Now what generally happens and is really annoying is some guitars the ball end gets stuck, especially in the bridge here underneath. So you have to make sure you yank it a little bit so it doesn't get stuck. Now the difference with, with um, locking machine heads and normal machine heads is how much string you should use. Now I, on a normal guitar I suggest that on the machine head you put at least a couple of turns around. Now with locking machine heads as this one is you just put it all the way straight through to the point through the hole until it can't go no four. So the, all of the machine heads I've got set pointing upwards. Now I don't know if you can can see that well, but uh, if I put that there, you should be able to see which way they're pointing. Make sure you put it all on. Put it all the way through. Pointing up the O. With blocking machine ends, they tend to be more of an angle, but that's absolutely fine. Now, all the way through until it's completely taut. Lock, lock it off, and it just waves out like that. So now your machine head will look like that. That's for locking. Obviously, on the back over and get it in shot. Yeah, so it's like that. You can see the these things here. These just will tighten up a bit until you can tighten them no more clockwise. And you basically repeat the process. So they're moving down from the you put your A, your D, your G, your B, and your D and your E. Um, and the you know, basically it's that same sort of thing. One thing I thought I'd better mention, um, as you can see, the, the guitar has these little things here. You want to make sure it goes through the middle. So if I get put it through the back hole, you need to make sure it pops through the middle there. I just thought I'd want to mention it just in case you guys get a bit confused. You don't if it if you sometimes push a bit too hard and it goes the right goes the wrong side like that. No, you don't want that. So I'm just I'll say if you move the saddle, that's easy. Just push it back in place. You can always muck around to get the intonation sorted out, which is in another video. So let's say push it all the way through. See 
and uh, so as you can see I've done three so far and we're coming on to the G now as you can see on some guitars they have they have two of these they have one here which I've got on the E and B and then sometimes you have one on the uh, the D and the G and the D and that's purely to stop the string popping off they're like an extra tension they just hold the strings especially when you're bending uh, it just stops them popping out the nut as you can see um, I've uh, now done the, the top four strings now we're on to the, the B and the E but we're on the 11th on the B now the, the B and E are the ones where my students say they are most worried about because it's all to do with the tension yes my advice is when it comes to doing these uh, higher strings especially the thinner ones where you, you've got higher tension it's not to over tune just at this point you are putting the string on so the strings stay on the fretboard tuning can come at a later part of the, the process if you try and do it everything and put everything in tune it doesn't always work unless you're doing the one string at a time and then of course yes you will have to tune each string my advice is just use your common sense and try not to over tighten the string you should get to a point where the more you do it the more you have you get the idea of how you hear how your guitar is obviously if you're doing drop tuning or you're doing your lowest tuning that's standard then obviously you will have a different pitch but we are just doing standard bog standard boring sort of tuning <laughs> if you want if you're a teenager and you're into the, some heavy, the heavy stuff that's absolutely cool and uh, I applaud you because you know it's nice to have a bit of hair now as you can see there that can happen it's annoying all you need to do is just push the saddle back and pull it through I'll try not to edit out too much of the, the little issues now with this string you know as you can see before this thing here we need to go under it now most of the time you can hook it straight under depending on the manufacturer but this one is just general bog standard nothing fancy here which is good for this video and good for you guys because then it's less confusing obviously if you're still confused hit me up uh, p me pipe prime private message me uh, send me a comment and I'll try and uh, answer your questions the best I can obviously if you're a student you probably already know how to do this and you're just looking up because you can't remember how I how we did it in the lesson but that's cool this is what part of the reason why I'm doing this is for you guys out there on the internet these are the ones that everyone always complains about I've how do I do this without snapping a string to say just use your common sense if you haven't got common sense then you know just use your eye use your ear if it sounds a bit too high, high then generally you know that you've got it wrong let's say at this point we've got all the strings on hurrah I hear you cry now there's all these these loose ends now obviously if you weren't like this and didn't have the cutters you would just you would just cut them off but these have got cutters on which I'll do in the next video now the last thing uh, before um, I take the workbench away is uh, to put the back plate back on now basically it's just re re just reversing the process that you did earlier no, nothing more complicated just make sure that that way is covering that way not, not the wrong way and also as well you'll find that uh, if I get the shot the, uh, the holes will correspond with the holes that are on the guitar so you can't really get that wrong well you can but it's very difficult and there you have it
And a part two.